If I taught a class in wisdom, my first question would be, what do you know by 40 that you couldn't know when you were 20? Some of my students would venture a guess, but the right answer is that no one can answer that question until he's 40. If you're young and curious about what changes as you grow older, do market research. Ask people who are over 40 what they've learned since they were 20. Take a lot of surveys. Life should be all about surveys when you're young. Some people act as though they know everything. So ask them what they've learned over time. They may not know very much about themselves. When you get old, then you can pontificate to the young and risk looking like a fool. Until then, just ask good questions. When I was 20, I thought I could change the world by becoming rich and famous. I didn't know exactly how I was going to use my influence and wealth to do so, but I thought I deserved money, power, and prestige regardless. When I was 40, I thought the world had changed me for the worse. I was cynical and scornful of most others. I thought I'd accomplished a lot when comparing myself to most people. I was outwardly arrogant, but unconsciously, I was deeply disappointed with myself. When I was 60, I could finally see evil externalized how the one percent are destroying the planet using the religious to secure their power i could hear evil spoken out loud that reinforced my spiritual connection to the earth and mother nature and by 70 i saw i was standing before god not only man unable to speak in his presence i needed to learn to pray Evil had bored black holes in me that I had to fill with self-love. If you want to learn about the meaning of your life, get so intimate with yourself that you conceive an inner child who you can communicate with in loud. My inner child is 18, but he refuses to go to college. He'd rather learn good and evil from everyone else's examples than swallow any more negative opinions from me. Good thoughts. I'll tell you more about me tomorrow.